So hello there. Let's take a look at some more new Animal Crossing features. We'll start off by heading into the city center. Um, first of all, you can now enact ordinances with Isabel. Um, you can only do that if you are the town rep, which I am not actually on my Switch. My son played first, so he is the town rep. Um, there are a couple different ordinances. You can make the people stay up later and the shops stay open later. You can make the shops open earlier or the people stay up earlier. You can do like a beautification one. They were available in other um, Animal Crossing games. Over here with Tom, you can now rearrange things on the island and do other stuff for cheaper. Um, especially if you have completely paid off your house loans, as well as upgrade your storage three more times. You can have like 5,000 items in your house, which is insane. Um, the one other thing I wanted to show you guys is there's lots of new awesome things for your Nook Miles. So I'm going to show you what those are. Um, there are some things that you could get earlier, but I, did, I already got them, so you can't see them anymore. Um, but there's a bunch of upgrading for apps. And then as you go through here, you're going to start seeing newer stuff. So for instance, um, there's this really cool flower bed, which I'm going to buy. I will. Right, okay. So, and you can keep looking through all sorts of different cool stuff. Um, so, for instance, there are these party lights, which are super cool. There's uh, benches, topiaries, um, street lamps, um, more playground equipment, volleyball net, um, an even cooler fountain, these pergolas, which I showed you in the first video, uh, and many other things gazebos, inflatable toys. Um, game stand, you can make like a little arcade area, merry-go-round, there's the ABD that I showed you, um, and then all sorts of other cool stuff. So there is so much that you can get um, from your Nook Miles now. That's a new type of fencing. There's also new types of fencing, if you didn't know, but that's a new one. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so there's so many new things that you can get from the Nook Mile stop. So after that, I'm gonna head on out. And I did promise that we were gonna take a look at the Happy Home, Happy Vacation Home area. So we will be heading that way um, to check out all of that nonsense. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get to your airport because you're heading on a plane. So when you walk in, you're going to head on over to Orville here. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to, I want to go to work. So after that, you'll hop on a plane. You don't really need anything when you go to work. Um, you don't need ladders. You don't need your tools. You don't really need anything. cool little theme because you're heading to a paradise. All right, so here we are. We've made it. Oh, hey there, it's Nico. Don't work too hard. All right. He's one of our people you work with. So we're going to walk past him. You're going to head down this path here, and this is the office of the place you now are employed. Remember, this is part of the paid DLC. You can only do this if you have the new Nintendo Switch Plus membership, or you buy it. You can talk to Lottie. I'm ready to work. I do want to look a little more in there. So when you work, you do wear a uniform. And then what you do is you walk out of the office and you're going to go find people to talk to you. Um, and you find them on the beach out here. So you're going to walk out into the beach and there'll be people relaxing. Um, and you go 
go up and talk to one of them. There's lots of different people. We'll do this one. So this is the island, top five. Your outfit, you work for Paradise Planning. All right, I need a vacant palace. So can you help me? Of course. So they'll talk to you. So then you head back to the office. There's a little cutscene. So there's all the blinds, back out. So here you are with Lottie. And so what they're going to do is they're going to describe what their dream house is going to be. So they want a stylish streamer estate. So they want to make like, they want to be a streamer. Um, so these are the three different um, things that they want to have in their house. And they say, oh, that's very nice, blah, 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 blah. So the next thing you do is you end up picking where they're going to go on the islands. So you can pick from anywhere on the map. Um, so let's see here. We can pick all sorts of different places. Um, maybe here. So we'll pick here. We'll select this place. Okay, they always say that's a perfect, unless they have like a specific need. So like sometimes they're like, oh, the view in the winter. So then you and them head on over there. Your our monkey friend who we saw at the dock will take us there. And here we are. This is the perfect spot. My vacant home is right here, her the hooray. And now you can start. So he says, get to it. So the first thing you can do is you can decorate the outside. And so you're gonna do it just like you would decorate a house. Um, you can change the season by pressing left on the D-pad or the, le the little stick. Um, we're just gonna keep it at spring. Um, you can also change if it's day or night or if it's rainy or sunny. Um, and then you can also add things out there. Um, we're just gonna enter the design mode though because that makes the whole thing a little bit easier. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the house and we press X. We can change the size and shape of the house. So we're going to pick this one because I haven't tried that one before. It looks cool. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. You can change um, the color of the roof, the type of roofing, the side panel. Uh, we'll go with the log thing. You can change the door. Let's see. Which door should I put in there? Do we like that one? And we can even put like a little reef on there. All this stuff is available regardless of if you have it or not. So you can you can use this because you're getting it from the company. Um, we'll pick the this reef. So there we go. That's the first part. You just change the house up a little bit. Now what we can do is we can start adding in other stuff. Um, so we're going to look for some outdoor furniture. Or maybe just some... Um, plants and stuff so we can add plants and different things in there so we're just going to throw a bunch of bushes in real fast So we'll just plant in a bunch of bushes here. We don't need these two. Um, and then I want to put something here in the back. So up here, we're going to start looking for the furniture more. Um, let's see. Outdoory furniture. the garden faucet in just all like food and stuff <sighs> makeup pouch vases it's all clothes um a rocking chair up there, shell stool, and then maybe like a small cafe table. 
perfect so we're just gonna make like a little like spot out here up here where she can go um, we're also gonna add in some flowers up here Go with white. And then I have a little garden. Can I not put that there? Apparently not. Cool. So we got some flowers going up here. We're gonna move those over here along the side. And then something else we can do is we can also make a path. So if you hit the plus button, you can add in fencing. If you add, if you press it again, you can add in um, like different types of walkways. Um, so we're gonna make a stone walkway. just so that we have like a walkway over there. Looks really nice. Um, and then we're, we can even put in a fence. So I'll hit plus two more times. We can pick what kind of fence she wants. Um, let's see here, we could put in, she's got like a log fence, so we can put in log fence. Nice little privacy fence. There we go. Change that. Oop. Get rid of. Oops. This is my wife's controller. I'm a little bit. Oh, I can't put that there, huh? That's fine. All right. Now I'm starting to run out of battery on my switch. I saw so we'll head inside. So there's the exterior bit, and we'll head on outside. Or head inside. All right, so when you get in there, there's gonna be three boxes on the ground, and those are the three items that she absolutely wants to have in her home. And then the rest of it is just designing it like a normal house. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by setting up her streaming area here. Um, but then we can also add in more stuff just like normal. So we're going to go start with um, wallpaper. Purple dotted wall, pink striped wall. Cool thing about um, um, here is you can now have an, add an accent wall, so the back wall will be slightly different. So that's a lot of fun. We can change the floor, make it pink. Um, we can get a rug going in here. Oh, I want to make sure it's something good. White rose rug, that's a cool one. So we'll move that, put it underneath her streaming area. There we go. We're going to copy that. There we go. Um, we're also going to... You can now add ceiling decor, which is really sweet. Um, so you can put in new different like lighting and stuff. Um, we're gonna do that and put a stained glass light above. We can move that into the center. So now we've got the lighting. And then we'll head over to the housewares. Um, let's see, is there, yep, we do have beds. Uh, we'll put the antique bed in. Um, and then what else do we want to put in here with her? We don't want to leave her just with nothing. It's just streaming, right? So let's see, we can't find her like a desk. We'll get her a console too. Put her wardrobe in there. She really likes that one. Let's see, a desk, a desk. Okay, we'll put in a vanity. She's gonna need one for streaming. Um, we'll put in a stereo. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop
This will have to be it. Um, she's going to need a computer for editing. So we'll put a computer in there, a tablet. Okay, all of that. We got some wall stuff. Throw that in there, a couple of these. Dream board, wall mounted neon lamps, that's pretty sweet. Okay, there we go, let's rearrange this real fast. up above the cork board. Okay, you can adjust all this stuff as well. You can change the, um, the way it looks. Okay, we're going to move this into the corner here. That's where the bed will go. Computer, music, wardrobe, vanity, and there you have it. So this is going to be a very simple house, obviously, but it's got all the stuff set up to be a streamer's place, which is what she wants to do, um, all sorts of stuff like that. I might put a few more wall-mounted things on there just to, like, put some more personal touches on there, wall decor, we'll put up a picture of her, oh, no, no, I didn't want that one, this one, put that up there, a couple tapestries, put a couple wall planners up there, and one of these. Okay. So we'll put the wall shelf with bottles right above her thing here. We'll put each one of these planters above her windows. And there we go. So then once you're oh no, I'll put that away. Then once you're done decorating, you walk back over to them. Is everything ready? And you say, it's ready. And then she says, wow, you know, this is amazing. I'm gonna check it out. Hold up a second. This doesn't happen before. You're getting really good at this interior design thing, but I've got a cool technique to show you that can take it to the next level. Remember how Wardell made that office furniture sparkle? Well, he's showing me how to do it. With this neat trick, you can make a room's furniture shine. Get ready for Operation Sparkle. Oh, okay. So, press L, and then you can start polishing stuff. Okay, so I can sparkle stuff. sparkled some stuff. Is everything ready? Sure is. Okay, so now here's what happens afterwards. She checks out the house. 
So you're gonna see her walking around and take looking around. This is a great chance to snap pictures um, because there is like a photo album that your company has for all the houses that they made. Um, the last picture you take will be the one that they use. Uh, and this is a great opportunity for you to do the picture taking because um, that'll like zoom in on everything. So this is when I usually take my pictures. All right, so we're all done. Thank you so much. Since you're here, do you want to hang out for a bit? Nope, I'm good. So we're all good. You can come back. Um, you can visit people again and like update their, their houses or fix things and stuff as you learn more techniques and stuff. Um, so you can definitely improve what you've already done. Here comes Lottie. Welcome back. How did things go? It's payday again. Here's 6,000 Pokey. So in here you don't get bells, you get Pokey, and you can only use it at the store here. Um, so thank you so much. That said, it's not good for anyone to work themselves too hard. So it's break time. All right, so I'm all done. Ah, okay. Cool. Alright, so she says I have to go and leave. Um, so let's see, what did I what did I do? I took pictures. So let me show you what happens to the pictures when you're done. Let's head into the Happy Home Network app on your Nook phone. If you're heading in here, you can now go to any of these vacation homes. So as you can see, I've done four of them. Um, and you can check out all the different places that you've been. So like for instance, this is the one we just did. There's Maddie and you can then visit from the app. Um, here's a spa one that I did for Piper. This is a portal to the land of Nas. So it was like a sleepy place. It's pretty cool. And then Eloise was a reading area. So she's like chilling in her, her reading nook there in this one. Um, so you can use this app to visit any of the homes that you've made um, over the course of using or working here. So now while uh, whew, while Piper's out and around, or not Piper, um, our boss is out and around, I'm going to walk around and see if I can't find her. Aha! Lottie, oh Mike, you startled me. What's up? Well, I got lost in thought looking at this property. Have you noticed all the unused properties around here? Before I set up shop, someone else was working on developing the island and they built all these. But it just didn't work out, and we just left the properties like this. Lately, I've been thinking about how we could put these to use, maybe some new facilities. If we had even more to offer our clients, I'm sure our vacation home business would boom. I just know we could breathe a lot of life into these old properties. Oh, so we could turn it into a school. Well, it looks like we'll be building facilities with this as well. So when we do get to the point where I can build a facility, I will uh, hop back on and show you that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fun time decorating homes. See you later. Have a great time exploring old island life.